So, hi, this is Richard Carter and the very pre-alpha footage of um, At The Center. So I'm building this in Unreal and this first footage was uh, made by my um, short experimentations into um, just basically um, making a maze in Maze Generator, which is a free online uh, black and white maze generation tool, and uh, reinterpreting it, or making Unreal Engine interpret it um, as um, a height map. Um, as you can see, it's extremely rough. Um, this was the first attempt I had at actually experimenting with the uh, with, with with both Unreal and the, the height map idea that I had, um, and it's created some very interesting uh, sort of uh, shadows. As you can see from the error in the top left corner, um, the light wasn't rebuilt. I was just excited about the the whole prospect of uh, building all of this, and so a lot of the um, elements. I can't quite remember where the ball went when I shot that. Um, I'm sure it'll disappear I hope it will anyway um yeah so th this is a, a basically a hex like maze so the idea is that it um, you can make several different types of mazes with maze generator and this one looks a bit like a honeycomb if you viewed it from above um, i'll include a screenshot um, from what the map looks like um, from above just to give you a better idea because um as you can see that the slightly though interesting the slightly um slanted sort of a flickery um, walls that have been generated by using this method has sort of taken away a lot of the um, sort of straighter lines. I'm just looking at the texture quality there. This is just a default material from Unreal. Um, I'm probably going to take out all the audio because uh, it's just, I'm just messing around now. I'm just um, playing around with the collision detection on the walls, which does actually seem to be working on this one. So I was quite impressed with my very first attempt there. Yeah, so this is the uh, next attempt that I made, where essentially, um, instead of a hex-based uh, map generator, um, I used a more square-based generator. Except this has pr um, created more rectangular uh, angles, as you can see there. Uh, sorry, the footage just jumped just there, and that was more due to the fact that the, uh, the, the a pop-up came up, and I, I didn't really want to make masks or do anything of that nonsense. Cuts far cleaner. But as you can see, uh, the uh, reaction is still exactly the same, a very basic sort of uh, mode and model. Um, but it, it was enough for me to realise that this is probably going to be the, the method that I choose to, to really create uh, the, 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 the final sort of like a, uh, um, a level uh, as it is. Uh, well, whether I'll have this as a procedural, so I, I add my own sort of like random mazes into each... Uh, each instance the game is loaded or whatever, I'll, I'll look into it another time. I feel that for now, just working off of one maze will probably be enough for me to get a good idea as to what's best for gameplay and how the look and feel of it should be. Um, I'm, I am wondering whether, just looking over at this footage, if instead of using the landscape tool, which gives these very sort of slightly slopey walls, um, whether actually, although this can generate something quite astounding very quickly, I am wondering if maybe having some some sort of interpre inter interpretation engine, um, so it interprets all of the um, different uh, walls that I would like in certain places, uh, basically in a in a completely different way. So essentially, um, every wall that you can see through the footage. Uh, it just kind of becomes an actual wall placement and is interpreted with the uh, same image that I add to the landscaping uh, system to, to generate that. But again, that's something that I'll probably have to experiment with at a later time. Um, the footage is now ended. Um, I won't loop it for your bemusement. I'll put some kind of funny picture in there or, or some sort. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching.